me first uh, start by welcoming, welcoming everybody. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all, good night. I am Charles Duggan. I will be your host and narrator today. We will be reading um, an, a, some humorous skits from a collection written by a playwright, uh, Edward Wells. Besides, how do you know he's gorgeous? He's Italian! So was Mussolini. <laughs> Seven months and I ain't touched her in three. Know what I mean? Yep. They're kind of scary when they start to show them like that. Like it had a mind of its own. <laughs> now, isn't that just what I need? But the frame's nice. <laughs> yes, I'll have a word with the curator. What a colossal waste of perfectly good oil. Seems like we have been here forever. How long has it been since anyone's been called? Oh, I fell asleep and lost track of the time. Did everybody take a number? It's crazy. Sister wants to know if we're coming home for Butch's graduation from beauty school. Yeah! <laughs> oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, that, that yeah. Butch. Where do we go after that? <laughs> back to dust. <laughs> you come from dust and you go back to dust. Oh, I told you, sir. You all have to wait until the plane from Dallas arrives. Why is my luggage in Dallas? Please, sir. Shouting will get you nowhere. It says that marijuana may soon be legal. Thank goodness. I never thought I'd live to see the day. But you, you don't smoke marijuana. That's right, George. But poor old Aunt Pansy does. <laughs> Thank you. 